these apps either add functionality to Windows or just overcome limitations of Windows as an operating system. To fix search on Windows, we have an app called Everything. This is a simple tool that indexes all the files on your computer when it's first installed, and then you can complete search queries with files and folders pretty much instantaneously. Here's an example of me searching the same files on Windows Search on the left side and Everything on the right side. You can even install Everything Toolbar if you're on Windows 10 to just be able to use everything directly from your taskbar. Windows Dynamic Desktop is an application that cycles through a bunch of images that mimic the time of day and sets them as wallpapers automatically. There are a bunch of presets to select from which are basically macOS stock wallpapers, but if you want you can actually download a bunch more from the community tab. My favorite is still one of the macOS abstract wallpapers and I just love this one so I keep it here. Monitorian is an application that allows you to control brightness for external displays directly from Windows. When you open Monitorian, it starts directly to the system tray. Clicking on the system tray icon will show you a slider that allows you to control brightness for external displays. If you have multiple displays, you would notice that each display can be controlled individually or you can sync them with each other. The only limitation here is that your monitor should support display data channel command interface which is compatible even with the VGA port, so any decent modern display should work just fine. Mic switch is something I discovered during my work from home adjustment period. This app mutes all your microphones at once with a universal hotkey. You also have an always visible indicator for your microphone status. The change is made at a system settings level instead of the app level. So if this is enabled, none of your apps can listen to anything from any of your microphones. You can enable hotkeys to enable a push to talk like behavior. If you plan to get this application, I would recommend a universal hotkey for toggle behavior more than anything else. I have mine set up to control F12. Make sure you check the suppress option because that will make sure other apps ignore this key combination in case they also use this for a certain shortcut or anything else. Snap camera is also a work from home application. Although it comes across as a gimmick trying to bring Snapchat like filters, but I primarily use it for its amazing portrait filters. They apply a good amount of post processing to a low light shot that makes it kind of usable. And in case you don't have a built in webcam for your computer, you should try Droidcam. Droidcam lets you use your phone as a webcam for your computer. The free version of this application is very usable with connections from USB, although you have to enable USB debugging. Wi Fi is still usable, but latency is definitely apparent. Chocolatey is a package manager for Windows. It allows you to install apps but directly from the terminal. You can install it with a simple script that you can copy from the Chocolatey website and paste it in PowerShell, which you have to run as administrator. Now you're set to install applications on your computer directly from PowerShell. Just type Choco install and the name of the application you want to install, provided necessary permissions to run it automatically by typing A. And voila! your app is installed. You don't have to download a file, run it, click on next a hundred million times. All of that is done in the background. And I don't even have to mention that using the command line makes you look like you are hacking the matrix and that is a different level of nerd cred. You can also install multiple packages at the same time. All you need to do is just type choco install and whatever packages you want to install and separate them by spaces and they will be installed automatically all in the background. Winget is also a package manager that you can install on Windows and it is available directly from Microsoft so it will be more full featured as Windows continues to develop but as of right now Chocolatey seems to have more packages available so I plan on switching to Winget in the future someday but as of right now Chocolatey seems to be doing the job for me. Panther Bar is a pop-up utility application that shows up when you highlight text. It brings up the basic options to cut, copy, and paste, but it also brings up a few more options such as open link, search with Google, this share screen as an option, or you can send an email if you have selected an email address. But that's only what you get by default. If you go to the app settings, you can add more extensions. One of the limitations of the free version is that you are limited to two extensions only. But I should tell you that there's a huge list of extensions to select from. After playing around with this application for a few days, here's how I have set up mine. First, I have disabled the basic ones. They don't really add any value, at least in my case. Now going from left to right, I have search on Google. 
then I have search on YouTube, then I have uppercase. I don't think I need to explain them. These just change the highlighted text to the selected option. Then finally, I have Todoist. This extension will take your Todoist information the first time you use it, and then you can add any text that you have highlighted directly to Todoist as a task. This is a fairly new application to me, but I paid for this application the day I downloaded it because of this extension. Another new application on my list is File Juggler. This is an automation tool that monitors a folder and takes actions on the files when they're added to that folder. To get started, you have to first create a role and select what folders to monitor, what files do you want to change, and finally what actions you want to take on those files. Because of File Juggler, as soon as I download a zip file or a 7z file, it is automatically extracted to its own folder. This is the only rule that I have as of right now. Auto dark mode is exactly what it sounds like. To be honest, this should have been a built-in functionality, but Windows does not allow you to switch between dark mode and light mode automatically. Auto dark mode does exactly that. You can configure schedule for dark mode, or you can provide a location axis, and then it will change from dark mode to light mode based on sunset and sunrise times. It does have a hotkey section, but I haven't been able to make it work. I use a simple auto hotkey script to toggle between dark mode and light mode, you can learn how to do that in a video right here. Rounded TB allows you to adjust the corner radius on your taskbar, which makes it match the Windows 11 design aesthetics more than it actually does by default. The subtle effect of 10 for my corner radius and 1 for margin, I think it really elevates the overall look of your desktop. As an alternative to Rounded TB, you can also use a nice taskbar which will allow you to completely hide your taskbar's background. This makes it look a lot like the macOS dock on Windows 11 at least, so it's not my preferred look because it kind of feels out of place, but it's a great application nonetheless. There are other options as well such as a solid or an opaque color for your taskbar and you can also use the translucent ones to make your Windows 10 taskbar look like the Windows 11 taskbar if you're interested in that. Files is a file explorer alternative for Windows. Windows tried to overhaul on how the files and folders look with Windows 11 and they did a decent job but files are still a superior alternative. First you have this modern look with its own Windows 11 like context menu and icons. The transitions on this app are so beautiful. Like look at this indicator move from downloads to desktop. Ah, so good. You still have the sidebar but the sidebar is customizable. You can easily remove any section that you don't use very often. In addition to all the file explorer features you get access to tagging which allows you to tag your files with multiple colors. Not very useful to me but if this fits your workflow definitely use it. You also get access to tabs to access multiple folders within one window. You can even drag and drop files from one folder to another or from one tab to another in a completely different folder without any issues. And finally, in a recent update, they added the functionality to switch to files as your default file explorer. And I have made that commitment, but I don't think I will be switching back anytime soon.